Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Vivian and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of transport in plants. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking on the links in the description box below. So let's get started. Question five. Ivy placed the plant with two white flowers, M and N, into a beaker of blue colored water. She removed an outer ring of the stem from positions Y and Z as shown in the diagram below. A few hours later, she observed that flower N turned blue while flower M remained white. And the question is asking us, which tubes did she most likely remove at positions Y and Z? So, if we were to look at the diagram above, we know that flower N turned blue. Hence, was it able to receive the blue coloured water? Yes. Now, which part of the plant takes in the blue water? It's the roots. Thus, we know that the water was transported up the water-carrying tubes all the way to flower end like this. Hence, at position Z, was the water-carrying tube in the stem intact? Yes, it was. So let's write this down. At position Z, the water-carrying tubes were intact. But do we know if the food carrying tube was removed? We can't say for sure, so we do not write it down. Now, let's look at flower M over here. They told us that the flower remained white. Hence, at position Y, was the water carrying tube in the stem still intact? No, as the blue water was not transported past part Y to flower M, the water carrying tube was removed at position Y. However, if we were to look at the diagram over here, we see that the water carrying tubes are found on the inner ring, while the food carrying tubes are found on the outer ring. Hence, if the water carrying tubes at position Y was removed, what can we say about the food carrying tubes? Are we able to remove only the water carrying tubes while keeping the food carrying tubes intact? No, that's not possible. Thus, we know that the food carrying tubes at position Y must have been removed as well. So let us write this down together. At position Y, the food carrying tubes and the water carrying tubes were both removed. So, if we were to look at our options below, we know that at position Y, the food carrying tubes and water carrying tubes were removed. Thus, we are able to eliminate the first option, the third option, and the last option, leaving our answer as option two. And based on option two, we now know that the food carrying tubes were removed at position Z. So our answer for this question is two. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!